What up, tribe? It's your girl, Raji, and I'd like to welcome you to my podcast, The Kush Concierge, where the evolved hustler comes to learn more about hoodoo, tarot, culture, astrology, and a little bit of everything in between. So let's just tap right on into some teens. So if you were able to catch me yesterday, I did record live on TikTok while I was podcasting, and um, yeah, it was interesting. Um, that reading is posted to YouTube and other streaming platforms. So definitely like tap in and check into that. If you are able to, it is, it was a pretty good read, had some gems dropped. I loved it. It was awesome. Trying to get this music together right now to get a good shuffle going on. It keeps trying to connect to my, um, my airpods like ew hey how you doing thank you for joining y'all don't forget to like and share the live please and thank you trying to get to the music i might need to take my airpods out but we're gonna do the hoodoo almanac for today just to let you guys know what you should be doing and we will also be doing a tribe reading if you didn't catch that I might have to take these out. Why my case hit? Because it's going to act. Nobody got time. Let me quit music. Y'all know I have to have a, a good, like, shuffle going on there. Let me quit music and start it over. But, yeah, I hope you guys are having a good rising so far. And today, for context, the moon is waxing gibbous in Leo still. It will be moving out of Leo and the wee hours of the morning into Virgo. So if you know anything, Leo is all about the crown chakra. We lose the parts of the body that enable the heart, um, blood circulation, um, and blood pressure as well. So... Y'all, this is throwing me. Okay, is he saying I don't need to play no music now? Is that, is that where it's going with it? Because <laughs> I'm like, what are you doing? What are you doing, spirit? Okay. Well, anyway, until it comes through, we'll keep going with the way we're going. But yeah, so... Back to the, the vibe. So today, again, Wax and Gibbous, it is Leo energy. Leo is very much ruler of the crown chakra. So confidence, think charisma, think personality, think leader. Le uh, Leo rules the heart as well. So when you focus today, today is a very good day to lean into your creativity, um, your children, any self-confidence. Today is a great day to do things that you want to last, like going forward. Leo is also, again, about love and protection as well. You know, king of the jungle vibes. Now, let's see. Today being Thursday, Thursday is Jupiter ruled. So we're going to focus on building power, luck. Spells for today would be good in terms of good fortune, health, prosperity, wealth. So candle colors I would do today would be blue and or green, just depending on what you're trying to bring forward. Because, you know, green is good for money. Blue is good for health and blessings. And speaking of blessings, you would bless your things. You would bless your family, your friends, your family and your home today. Uh, that's what Jupiter is all about. Jupiter is a great day for, again, doing those money spells that you want to see come to fruition um thursdays is also good for justice and authority spells it's a great day to sign for things so if you were going to i like every time i get ready to like move or do something like that i try to make sure i'm signing those contracts on thursdays and it's always like just good luck it gives you power thursdays is a good day to move period um so if you're a real estate agent or you know someone in real estate like letting them know like always encourage their clients to move in on thursdays it's just good luck um, today would be a great day to do success meditations and affirmations. So everybody meditates and affirms differently. You can do songs, you can do cooking, you can exercise, you can walk. So everybody does that different. You know, I always talk about that. 
And today is also a great day to create protective and restorative charms. So utilize that the Leo energy for that as well. So that is the hoodoo portion of the um the almanac today. Let's see what these planets are hitting for. Because I know we're moving into that Virgo energy and yeah. We was spent we spent like three days in Leo though, y'all. That's that was T. We spent like three days in Leo. Hold on, man. Mm -mm. Let me say something. Cause yeah, it's like def divinely quiet. It's a good room for recording though. I always say that my office is a great room. That in the bathroom. <laughs> you gonna get some good sound optics there, boy. <laughs> okay. So yeah, the sun is in Aries, you know, crossed over. We are now in the spring equinox, which is the rebirth period, the transformation period. So we're all passionate. We're getting started. We're doing new things. Like it's just beautiful, beautiful energy if you use it wisely, right? The moon again, waxing gibbous in Leo. So if you don't know, when you think of like waxing gibbous energy, you think of like pushing what you were trying to manifest during the waxing crescent phases, you are going to utilize that energy to do that. So challenge man get your confidence together and push what better energy to be in in leo energy than trying to get your confidence and your yourself together for pushing those projects over because you know we're going to get into this full moon and this lunar eclipse energy so yeah use that use these next what three four days wisely mercury being in aries let's see Mercury is in Aries, Venus is in Pisces. We have quite a few of the planets in Aries, so lots of passion, lots of confrontation, but confrontation is not always bad, so don't think bad when you think confrontation. Sometimes certain shit just needs to be addressed, others not so much, you know, use your discernment with that. Let's see, a lot of new beginnings, a lot of fast movement here let's see what's going on the nodes are still retrograding so we're still having periods of reflection um you know we're in the pre-shadow phase of what we consider mercury retrograde but we have already talked about the idea of that being an optical illusion and in the hoodoo community as well as you know if you just do basic you know voodoo or witchcraft or however you want to categorize it you may go to Hermes, you may go to Papa Legba, you may go to Alegua, or you may go to Anansi. These are the energies that you would need to be petitioning during this time to make sure this shit goes smooth for you. Um, a lot of times we are fear mongered into feeling like, oh, you know, things are not going to work out for me. I'm going to experience, you know, bad communication. Well, Hermes, Alegua, Papa Legba um what did i say anansi like all of those energies are ruled by mercury they are communicative um but they are also trickster energy so the fact that this is an op opportunity for them to use sleight of hand and for them to see if you really what you're talking about i would definitely go to those guides and those gods for assistance during this time like i wouldn't i wouldn't sleep on that like, if you didn't get the chance to go to um, Papa Legba or Legua on Monday, which is generally his day because that's the day you open roads. They also rule commerce, too, and travel and all that. So, yeah, take a look, you know, examine your history surrounding them. I said I was going to do, like, a separate um, post maybe about those energies. I'm still kind of thinking on it. Maybe just blog posts. I got to figure out how I'm going to approach that because um you know it's useful though like things you might want to use them to petition with like what what papa legba likes what hermes likes what anansi generally likes i work in the realm of hoodoo so i'm going more towards papa or um in other terms anansi or Allegra. i'm gonna go in that medium of things i i know a lot of people that utilize the the concept of hermes though but if you look and you research like i was saying the other day they pretty much the same person, just different cultures, different modalities. But anyways, uh, so utilize that energy. Utilize um, the energy of Jupiter. So Mondays, Wednesdays, because Wednesdays is ruled by Mercury, Thursdays. 
So this is the time where you should be like, because that's expansion, that's growth. You know, that's power, that's luck. You want to call in some luck? You need to be tapping in to your guides today for that, you know. Um, in terms of aspects, the sun in Aries is conjuncting Neptune in Pisces. So we have also the sun is sextile. Let's see, Pluto, which is in Aquarius. So they are definitely getting along. The blessings are overflowing as you, you know, you operate more in your niche. You choose to make more of an impact in society. It's all about building community with Pluto in Aquarius. Truth telling. Um, a lot of things are being uncovered. I know like y'all see the media. Y'all see what's going on with Nickelodeon. So, you know. Ooh. But it's been like that all year, though. Like, steady, slowly, slow and steady. But they've been just, stuff been just coming out, coming out, coming out more and more. It's very hard to hide. You know, those deep-rooted things are coming up. That Pisces energy is pulling on that. The moon is training Mercury um, as well. So, that's interesting. Like I told y'all yesterday, those fire energies are working. They're kind of playing off of each other. I like that aspect. So Leo is giving you that confidence and Aries is giving you that push, that drive to start anew, to start things over. So yeah, that's what's up. Um, but the moon is opposing Mars and, um, yeah, Mars is in Aquarius right now. So they're kind of not necessarily hostile towards each other. They're not necessarily getting along. And they could be just in terms of just society, like subconscious feelings of whether the moves that you're making to be, you know, let me think, uh, what's a good word for it? I want to say individual. The moves that you're making, that, you know, people are kind of bucking up against it. You know, they they viewing it more so as competition than they are, you know, trying to work with you. So be mindful of that type of energy today. You know, Leo is very, that's the lion. So you feel me? Teens. <laughs> and Aquarius is more like laid back. You know, they don't really like all that gaudy behavior. They don't really go for that. So, yeah, I can see where that might be a, a thing. So, yeah, um, feeling like, you know, whether you should or you shouldn't. Now, in terms of like your own personal energy, you might be internally uh, wrestling with is showing up and showing out what you should be doing. You know, Leo is pushing you. Leo is kind of wanting to say, OK, get creative, show yourself, like really tap in and you know don't be don't be shamed whereas you know that mars energy of aquarius is like stay small or not necessarily small but stay niched you know stay behind the scenes type vibes but aquarius is the star so in the tarot so i don't know why you know hey use utilize that tarot energy the moon is squaring um Jupiter in Taurus right now uh, because that Leo wants to come out and go strong and hard with that fire energy and Jupiter is in Taurus so you know Taurus is more about slow and steady wins the race creature comforts we're still moving out of the energy of the redemption period which is what winter so we just now getting into spring um, I had an interesting feeling because I had started running like as it was cold so I really was like all right you know I could do these then like for the last like two, three days. I just, it was harder for me to get up. I got my ass up today though. I got up and ran today. So, you know, expect it to be still kind of like, uh, oh, moving slow. Not really, you know, like still warming up yourself because it's going to get hot this week. But, um, the moon is also square Uranus. So again, we're just trying to figure out the modalities of what we want to do creatively, how we show up as individuals. And with Uranus, uh, being in Taurus, you know, like I said, Taurus is kind of being more laid back, more uh, about the long-term planning of the thing. And then you got that moon energy that Leo just wants to show up and show out and do his thing. So I could see that. Let's see. Venus is sextile Jupiter, so that's what's up because Venus is in Pisces and Jupiter is in Taurus, so they are getting along. They're catching those secondary blessings. So your charisma, your personality is going to be shown through, and as long as you show up as yourself, 
you know, and put forth effort and be loving and kind and generous, which Pisces in their higher selves are usually known for, you'll catch those blessings long term. You'll catch that that look. You'll catch that uh, Juno spirit of Jupiter being more jovial and being more like about catching the crowd. You know what I'm saying? You'll catch that. So that's what's up. Jupiter is conjuncting Uranus also. Okay, and obviously it's two signs, so they can either love or hate each other when something's in conjunction. The nodes are training the moon. So the self-reflection that you are doing, like again, that Aries energy to me is working with each other, like not against each other. So you doing the proper reflection, you doing the proper shadow work. So that you can move towards your purpose. You can move towards your light, which is what the North Node is generally all about. Um, now, we got four nodal transits going on right now. They're conjuncting with Mercury. They're clean coots or free will. Uh, Lilith. And the node is conjuncting Chiron as well. So, you know, Chiron is all about your ability to heal, your ability to deal with your deepest struggles. So you are getting to the point where it's kind of lightening up for you doing that shadow work. Um, Lilith is in Virgo. So with the moon going into Virgo tomorrow, I feel like you would be more in up to clean. You know, we still within the spring cleaning aspect of everything. And, um, we're still kind of like moving things out the way and getting organized and getting grounded. Now, when you think of Virgo, Virgo rules the digestive system. So that's why when Virgo comes through, it's kind of like all like divine intervention, almost like the the ancestors and spirits, they they giving you that that energy to like want to clean, want to move shit out the way because that, that full moon is coming. So utilize that energy alchemize that energy for your highest good at the end of the day because you know god spirit however you want to categorize it it's coming through to like give you that extra force that you need you can apply this to your personal life um you can apply this to your hustle you can apply this to your creative projects you know however you want to focus it but be sure to like don't raw dog life in any aspect like Allow yourself to pay attention to what's going on like our ancestors did so that you can work with it. You know, I like to move off the almanac. I told y'all that before. That's a big part of what I do. I fuck with the almanac and I utilize that in workings, you know, so, yeah. But that's what, what the word is, y'all, for these planetary aspects. A lot of showing up and showing out, a lot of being confident, a lot of getting creative, a lot of really just being yourself and not being ashamed and not, you know, worrying about what people think, you know. A lot of getting prepped and grounded and prepared. Today is a good day, you know, um, to with that crown chakra to focus on like learning new things, you know. Learn some new stuff. Get get ready. Because you're going on a new path. You're starting over. It would not... I guess I wasn't supposed to play no music while I was talking. Because it would not do that. And then on top of that... Oh, yeah, I was complaining too. The ancestors are so funny. But I was complaining because TikTok kid like... Um, muted one of my um readings. I was playing music. And Facebook didn't even do that to me. So I was like, what the fuck? Okay, so it was funny that I guess y'all needed to hear these because they damn sure won't let me play no music. Let me see if it let me do it now. I'm going to play it low. <laughs> YouTube be the same way, though. If YouTube hears some music in the background, they won't. They'll, they'll silence my post. Yeah. Let me see. Mm-mm. The ancestors, whatever they say, they want y'all to get this. They want y'all to get this tea. So they are not. My little circle is um going on on my computer. They are not letting me play no music. That's 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 odd. That's not, that's not normal. So I know that's intentional. <laughs> they don't want to TikTok me on my videos. Don't we'll see me come through. That's crazy. Brazy. Get a good shuffle in, though, y'all. But yeah, just to tap in on some cultural events that's going on around us, 
there is no hiding though. I, I definitely send prayers to all those affected by that with that Nickelodeon thing because to want to do something and then that shit be sitting, sitting with you for life, man. You scar a person for life with stuff like that. That's horrible. Like, ugh. <laughs> I ain't gonna say, I'm gonna keep that thought to myself. <laughs> I'm gonna keep that one to myself. Because big, fat, nasty ass. That's what I have to say about Dan Snyder. Yo, big, fat. Ugh. Ooh, I'm getting shit down. <laughs> I'm like, what, nigga? His big, fat, nasty ass. Oh. <laughs> I want to get up on. Man, don't get me started. I don't want to get muted, so I'm going to be quiet. Dan Snyder in a jar ASAP. I'm going to try to apologize. Hmm. Fucking ingrate. Hmm. Ruin them children like that. Ooh. Fat, nasty motherfucker, too. Y'all see him? I see no pictures of that. Can you imagine? He, he look like he smell. He look like he got a scent. And it's like baloney or something. <laughs> you know, can you imagine? Just period, but still, like, man. So... No. Nah. Anybody that uses their influence and their power to get over on children, they ain't right. They ain't right at all. And you 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 need to be handled, so he can handle. I guarantee that. He ain't gonna see no good at all. Dan Snyder. Ew, even his name sounds gross. Prayers to them. Prayers to their souls. Give them some peace, Lord, cause hell no. Mm -hmm. he, he nasty. He been double chinning for a while, so you know he been smelling for a minute. Nah. I don't like that. Team too much. Another creator that's um a part of this, they're like, they were like, we need to collectively hex him. <laughs> collectively put Dan Snyder in somebody's jar. Hello. He need to be buried in the deepest parts of the fucking graveyard and asking Baron uh, shit, somebody to come through. My mom, Brigitte. Somebody need to come through. Hand to him because you can't be serious. You. I ain't gonna say it. I'm gonna be quiet. I'm gonna be quiet because I. Not you ruin them, them people or try to, you know. Lord have mercy. Mm. So, yeah, let's get into. Seriously? Okay, I guess I ain't supposed to play no music. I was trying to wait it out. I, I'm being hard headed. So, let's see what the ancestors and the guys got for us today, though, y'all. Thank you so much for opening the roads, y'all, for giving me some information to give to the collective. I definitely appreciate the gift. I don't abuse the gift. If this message resonates, y'all on live, don't forget to tap, follow, like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate you. And I will be offering private readings today. So catch me on the kushconcierge.com where you guys can get these readings done. A little work done on there as well. Let's see. I'm still shuffling. I'm being guided to still shuffle. So this is the Ancestor deck, everyone. Y'all know, my podcast people know, that's what I start off with usually. I'm sorry about that rant about Dan Snyder, but for real, he need to stop. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like this. Think of something. I ain't gonna say it though. But anyway, all right, y'all. Let's see what the ancestors got for us so far. 
which I got for us. So we do have the big house and the foundational energy, which is the tower card. So there are some endings happening. So all endings aren't bad. Some endings need to happen so good things can come forth. So don't necessarily think just because an ending is happening that that just means all bad. If you were to see this card, which I will post the visuals as well on um Patreon and YouTube for y'all. The big house here is like there's like a rose colored glass here on the front. So you kind of see where it's like the building burn on the outside, people falling all off the building. But this glass, you can also see where it looks all good. So it's all about perspective as well. What's the present energy looking like? So we got the four of coins here in the upright. So we're making the proper investments. We're planning. We're on the go. We are searching. He's got his dowsing rod and he's looking for a little bit of gold. We're looking for it. Coins is long term. Coins is earth energy. Coins is planting. Coins is um, pinnacles in this deck. Let's see. So three of sticks, we got the three of sticks for the present uh, collective energy. That is um, the, the stick. So that's passion. You have a vision. You're moving forward. You've chose something. You've got two of the sticks behind you and you've gone ahead and you've grabbed a stick and you've made a decision to move forward. So congrats to us. Mm -hmm. We got the two of sticks. So we got the two of sticks and the three of sticks. So in the near future, you are, again, planning long term. You're you ready to move and you're making the necessary plans to move, to go forward, to have progress. You know, you're adapting well to this. Yeah, ten of knives in the upright. So at this point, you realize you need to be more discerning about who you trust. And you, so you're basically surviving. You're thriving. I don't like to use that word. Y'all know how I feel about that surviving word. So you're thriving. You are doing what needs to be done. You realize that you can't trust certain people you were in partnerships with. And you, you're ready to move on. You're ready to move forward. All the cards came out in the upright, honestly, in this um, Hoodoo Tarot deck. So I feel like you, you know what's up. You know what needs to be done. You know how things need to happen for you. Let me see something. I want to check on this four of coins right quick. Toot, toot. Let's see. Let's see. I'm going to give y'all the herbs too. I'm going to post that on Patreon. I don't know if I said that already. Mm hmm. Yeah. You you ready to make some gains. You doing, you investing properly in yourself. You, you want to do something that matters. Like they say, today is a great day with that Leo energy to plan for things you want to last. So to me, that's showing that energy there. That big house card is. It's like the endings happen. You let the endings happen. You let you let it fall. You let it burn, like Usher said. You know, sometimes you just got to let it burn. And now you're moving forward. Now you want to make some worthwhile investments. You're being more discerning about who you trust at the end of the day because it's like, okay, I see the shit for what it is. You can see that the building is burning. You can see that the people are falling. You see that the present way that things are going in society is not what you want to deal with. It's not the type of vibe you're trying to be on. And I feel like that's a collective energy amongst us all. Like we're searching for different ways to do things. We're searching for uh, different vibes. We're searching for different worthwhile investments. We no longer want to be on that type of time. You know what I'm saying? We, we really not for that. So I congratulate you, you know, even though you you kind of, you know, been this like a wake up call at the end of the day, you you thrive at the end. You make it. <laughs> you got a couple scars, but, you know, shit. no, nah, you make it, though. You moving on. I'm going to pull out of the traditional tarot just to see what the guys have to say. I honestly feel like the ancestors are pretty clear. What time is it? I feel like the ancestors are fairly clear. The ancestors are <laughs> clear on what you need to do. Keep moving forward. Let that shit in. Don't stop it. Don't try to preserve what's already dead. 
It's behind you for a reason. It's dead for a reason. Now, sticks is fire energy. So you've shifted 10, completion. Four, three, five, six. 16. Hmm. Let's see what we got going on with the tower. Yeah, you grounded your energy. Finally, you let stuff in. Again, Virgo energy, that's digestive system. That's like getting it on up out of here. That Virgo energy. Mm -mm, we, we ain't trying to deal with that no more. I second that. Page of Pentacles. So now you are on the go. You are getting started. You really trying to um, make investments that matter. So just make sure that these things are long term. Whatever you putting forth with that page of pentacles coming out, just make sure it's a long-term investment, not short-term gains, you know. Stay away from short-term things. Yeah, king of pentacles. So the king of pentacles came out over the three of sticks. Yeah, you are, you're more about long-term. You're more about um, building discipline. Um, the king of pentacles is like big dog, big business, you know. Standing on business is what you're doing. You got all that other extra energy out the way. Now you ready to focus. You you moving forward. You ready to give it all you got. You making the initial steps too. Because when I see that page, like that's like beginner teens. You know, that four coins. And then you kind of like, hmm, what can I offer up? What can I pick that's going to, you know, do well for me long term? Yeah. But you're moving towards the King of Pentacles energy, so that's amazing. Yeah, the magician came out here, so that's Gemini energy. So you're you're standing in your power. That progress is being made. You might be doing more rituals. You might be paying more attention to your thoughts. You're paying more attention to your feelings because you see in this, he has the cup, he has the pinnacle, and he has the knife. So in um, Hoodoo Tarot, the knives is all about thoughts, beliefs, your feel, like the way you feel is your baskets and your cups. And the coins is you, you know, doing what you need to do in regards to your long term planning for your finances and your stability. So you doing what you need to do. You making necessary plans. You standing in your power. You know, that eight for infinity is letting you know that you, you want something that is going to continue to weave results for you. You don't want it to stop. You want it to keep going. So that's what's up for the near future. Tell me about the Ten of Knives. Yeah. Be mindful, though. Again, um, I'm getting the energy. You got that Aries energy here where it's like you're moving fast. You're passionate about it. You're ready to get it done. But make sure that you're discerning because you don't want to be dealing with people and places and things that are like pushing you to do shit that's out of alignment. You know, what good is it to do something short term, you feel me? <laughs> you know, if it's not going to last, you want to be focused on things that are going to last, hustlers, tribe. You know, take these, don't don't betray yourself. You know, going fast and making fast decisions. Tell me more about that knight of swords. Yeah, battling. And it'll be like small things. It'll be like little insignificant things. Mm -mm. Let that go. Get away from that with that five of wands. Yeah. You're moving on to more celebration with the three of cups here. Um, you're moving on to really getting some reciprocity in all of your connections. You don't want to be teaming up with people that are encouraging you to move too fast. That's what I just heard. Mm-hmm. The immature energy. Like that not knowing where they going energy. Mm-mm. We want that. You've healed with that three of swords in the reverse. You've healed. You you've moved forward. Yeah, you don't moved on from that. So there's no need to go back to the just continue to be like I said. That ten of knives is like about you being discerning about who you trust, about you surviving disasters and thriving in the higher timeline. You know, continue to move on. These are not people you want to take a leap of faith with. These are not people you want to be a fool for. <laughs> not, you, you know, you don't want to put your emotions into those energies. That's, they haven't healed. So be mindful, you know, save, plan, 
You've got this five, I mean, I'm sorry, this four of pentacles, y'all, for those who can't see just yet. Be mindful, save, plan, do what you need to do. You know, keep things to yourself. Keep your plans to yourself. Mm. Yeah. These are not things that you want to continue to work with. We got that four cups in the reverse. So you've got to be strong enough to not accept these offers. Like these people are going to come to you with offers, you know, as you start to plan your new life and they are going to be trying to get you to like come with them and partner with them. Now, you, you, this is a, a solo mission with this hermit card here. This is a solo mission because you see something that they maybe don't see, you know, and that's, that's okay. But that's, we got that Leo energy here. You've got to be strong enough to refuse. You've got to be strong enough to balance and ground your feelings and your emotions so you don't be making these fast decisions that's going to mess you up in the end. You know, you got King of Pentacles energy here. You've got Magician energy here. That's powerful. Like, mm -mm. he got his, um, his staff or what is that in his hand? This Magician. He got that in his hand, though. He got his magic wand in his hand. And he ready to make some shit happen. <laughs> Period. <laughs> I know that's right. This, them the type of vibes I like to see in the rising. All right? Everything. I'm going to go ahead and pull some oracle right quick to see what's going on. Let's get some oracle. Thank you, Bridget. Oh, who's that? Hi, Bridget. Hi, Elaine. How are you? I hope you're having a good rising. I'm doing a tribe reading. I've already done the almanac, but don't worry. It'll be posted on YouTube, and I'll probably post some clips here. So the almanac has kind of already been done about what you need to do today. And we, we went over the planetary alignments, what's going on in the sun, the moon, and the stars. And now we've moved on to the tribe reading which looks fairly good. It, it looks exceptional. Like Spirit just wants us to continue to not be so focused on the people behind us. You know, we need to be focused on long-term planning and not the short-term satisfaction. You will get your King of Pentacles energy. You will be able to build. So there will be no need to partner with these energies that's trying to rush you and push you to do things that are in alignment. And this could be yourself, you know. It ain't always everybody else. Sometimes it's us. Let's see what the oracle got for us, though. Yeah, trust. Trust spirit. Trust yourself. Trust your intuition. Trust the path that you're going now, you know. Yeah, I got confirmation from my buds. Yeah, something's not working. Let me see. Clarify that. Hmm. So something's not working. Hmm. Then we got victory. Let's see. Let me look back at this. So maybe what you were doing before isn't working, and now you're moving towards more victory. Clarify. Yeah. Protect. So maybe who you were trusting prior to this, maybe the situations and the energy that you were in prior, it just wasn't working. And in order for you to have victory in this moment, you are going to have to protect your endeavors. So that's, I can see that, especially with this 10 of knives here. I could see that. So be mindful of what you share. 38, 38 on the timestamp. Mystery. <laughs> yes, I'm on the right track. Mystery. Keep, the, keep what you're doing a mystery. Pro protect what you're doing. I always talk about the concept of birthing a baby. You know, when you birth a baby, some people, when they get, they impregnate, they don't tell people for three months. Then you don't see the baby for what the next six, seven. That's the whole period of getting ready to bring them out into the world. So think about your life and your projects. Oh, confirmation. Your life and your projects the same way. You know, keep some things to yourself until you are ready to fully come out. You're prepared. You're protected. All right. Secret. Period. Yo. Keep what you're doing a secret. Keep your plans a secret. Yeah, it's necessary. That's how you're gonna progress. This two sticks is all about progression. That's how you're gonna progress. Keeping some things to yourself. You know, they can see the outcome. 
then that's what most people are focused on anyway i know we're in a society at this point where we're showing everybody the process we want to show them how we got it etc cetera, etc cetera. but for this particular thing spirit is wanting you to kind of keep some shit to yourself this time because you got a lot of haters you got a lot of enemies and you know sometimes you got to realize that these people have spirits on them so it's not even all about like oh this is a bad person spirits they leave they, they vessels open for possession they leave their vessels open for like bad energy and you know that shit follows us lifetimes generations you know we battle against not flesh and blood but spirit so i i believe it and birds do too because they just a chirping stillness aquarius energy so be still and know that i am god i i got that um uh, pull from my um miss ida card and my hoodoo tarot deck yesterday and i it's funny because i wrote down that scripture so the hoodoo tarot deck it has the herbs and it also has suggested scriptures that you might want to work with as well and that that's what that reminded me of be still and know that i am god like while you are waiting for spirit to come through and like prepare your table before your enemies like prepare everything that you want to see while you wait for this baby um hypothetically to be born you know do the work toil away you know if you see this guy in the hoodoo tarot deck the hermit this person is working he's out in the field it's the dr grant card he's out in the field he's like toiling away he's doing what he needs to do he's getting grounded working towards the process trust the pro trust the process trust the process be still and really just focus on healing because with this three of knives at the bottom of the deck, you need to focus on healing. You need to focus on allowing yourself to grieve these endings. You know, you just because you decided to move on, that doesn't make it like any less of something that's like sad. We don't do toxic positivity. So it's like, yeah, you allowed to be a little sad about it. You're not allowed to sit in it. But you are allowed to have moments of reflection and realize that this is not working. But once you realized that this wasn't working, that's when you moved into an era of victory for your life. And now you know what to protect. You know what to keep to yourself. You know what to put out there and you know how to move, you know? Yeah. So I love that for us. I, I love that. You know, as you get towards this King of Pentacles energy, now you are moving in secret. Now you're keeping things under wraps. And that doesn't make you a bad person. A lot of people be like, ooh, they so sneaky. But you're not supposed to know everything. On the bottom of the deck, uh, someone is not adapting, though. And that's because they're still being unkind. This person might try to come in and communicate with you, mm -hmm. but they obviously cannot trick you because you are in your power, Aries energy. You've experienced a rebirth here, and now you're moving in joy, and you've allowed things to end. Yeah, that's what's up. You need to have the courage to be free, though. Don't continue to feel like if you're not doing it with a crowd, if you're not doing it with a large scale group of people that is not happening. Pluto in Aquarius, that deep transformation, that deep rebirth energy, for real, for real, like it's about carving out a space for yourself in this society that's long term. And it's millions and billions of people in the world. So Whoever you connect with, I always think that to myself. When I get in my mood of feeling like, damn, nobody's watching or, you know, I don't have as many. Because they make you feel like you got to have all these followers. You got to do all these things to, like, get monetized and do what you need to do. And to bring myself back down to reality, you know, even though, you know, I've, I've shifted my way in terms of dealing with religion. I'm more in, like, spirituality now. I still go back to my Baptist roots sometimes and thinking, like... Jesus had 12 and shit, half of them wasn't shit at the end of the day, <laughs> you know? So you got 5,000 people following you. You got six, five, that's not enough, you know? So this Pluto and Aquarius, I'm tying that in to say the impact that you're making 
you you don't have to worry about it being this huge thing. You need to be focused on substantial things, things that are grounded, things that are going to grow long term, not a quick fix. I remember I posted on my Twitter the other day. This isn't about like a happy meal. This isn't a fast snack. You're preparing something for generations. This Pluto in Aquarius, like this is supposed to be like what we're doing now is 20 years, 20 years. Cause you know, Pluto stay for a long time. Once we hit that retrograde, um, after what September, Pluto going to be there for a minute. So everything you're doing right now, you in pop quiz phase, everything you're releasing, everything you're building, everything you're doing, it's, it's going to be long term. So please do not focus on the crowd because as quick as they scream, Hosanna, Hosanna, they will scream off with his head and you said, let me eat cake. You know how I go. So build your tribe, build your niche, do your thing. Get knowledge, you know, do the work, do the groundwork. And when I see this too, if you was to see him in the hoodoo tarot deck, he's like a swamper. He in the field. So when I think of that, I'm like, get in the field, do the work. You got to do the work. Aries is saying, do the work. Now is not the time. The nature is waking up and so are you. <laughs> for real. We've rested long enough. We lay dormant for long enough. You know, that don't mean jump out. That's why you got them aspects right now where Leo is kind of battling with an uh, opposing energies of Taurus because Taurus is like, shit, I'm still, I'm still cocooned. I'm still nesting. I'm still getting myself together. And Leo just wants to jump out. So when you turn around and you can balance those energies, you're a super powerful person. You're in standing in your power more than you ever have. You know what I'm saying? So I definitely love that 46 46 all the time stuff as i say that i love that aspect of what's going on around us sometimes the ancestors they come through but and they get in our ass they be on us but today i feel like it's such like a straightforward message you know what i'm saying so i pray you guys got something from this i pray that you were able to resonate with the message and can apply it to your life today as you become greater and vibe at a higher frequency you feel me um, I, if you do resonate, don't forget to follow, like, share, and subscribe. If you need a private appointment, I am available for same-day appointments today on the thekushconcierge.com. I love you guys. I love you, I love you. And I'm posting, um, the herbs on Patreon today and the visuals of the cards. I am going to post that as well. It might be a little later, but it is going up. It is. And if you missed a portion of this live, I'm also recording my podcast at the same time. And this podcast will be on YouTube under our channel, The Kush Concierge. I love you guys and I'll chat soon.